is Saray. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with your Virgo to Moon Blessings Pick a Card. And I hope you're doing well. Uh, this New Moon Blessings Pick a Card is going to be a little different. Um, I am going to do a collective message before we get into each individual pile. Usually I don't do a collective message. When I first started these readings um, about a year ago, I did do a collective message. Well, it was less than a year, but yeah. I'm being called to do one uh, for this Blessings Pick a Card. So this Virgo New Moon Blessings Pick a Card is going to focus on energy from um, mainly August 27th through the Libra New Moon is September. Hold on one second. September 25th. So um, August 27th through September 25th, these will be the energies in the atmosphere, the blessings that are happening for you. Um, to start with each individual pile before I pull for the collective message, pile one, we have smoky quartz. Okay. Pile two, we have amethyst. And then pile three, this is Hawk's Tiger Eye. Okay. I believe that's, I'm, I'm label, calling it by its appropriate name. But yeah, I think it's Hawk's Tiger Eye. Um, so take a moment, pick your pile. I'm going to pray. And then we'll get into the collective messages. Shay, y'all ready? I left my coffee downstairs and I want it. So I'm going to run and get the coffee. Give me 10, maybe 15 seconds. Okay, we're back. I apologize. Okay. All right, so I want to pull collectively for this Virgo New Moon, the blessings that we are experiencing collectively. Um, I hear globally. I really wish my fan was on, but I know the fan disrupts the, the, the sound, the volume. So the fan above me, I guess it'll have to do. Um, so I feel like collectively that, that a message is interesting. It's like the collective is hungry for more. Um, but in a sense, it's like you feel like you have to settle. But Spirit is saying, no, take control, take charge. Be the leader, be the warrior. What is the collective energy regarding blessings from now until... Ooh communication the throat chakra so it's interesting um throughout this time period is also mercury retrograde and this is new moon and gemini energy so collectively it's like you need to speak up in regards to your needs speak up in regards to your desires call on it call it forward call it into your life um speak life into it stop speaking life and then and then speaking death into it by focusing on the failure and how it cannot work versus how it actually can work. How it can work in your divine favor. You may not know. <laughs> you may not know. You may not know all of the pieces to the puzzle, but you have all of the pieces to the puzzle. You just have to really, really dig within, communicate, be honest with yourself, be transparent with yourself, and be transparent and honest with others. Say no when you need to say no, and say yes when you need to say yes. We have um, a fiery climax approaches. Some of you are really waiting on a check. I just got a notification about tax, child tax rebate. I don't even have children, but some of you have been waiting on taxes. 
tax refunds, you haven't got your refund yet. Some of you, when it comes to money, like when it comes to material things, you are truly in need. During this time, um, children are going back to school. A lot of you, you may not have had it, you may not have it this year, how you had it last year, and Spirit is saying, speak up. You have people that wanna pour into you, but you act like you got it all together, and it's, 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 it's hindering you versus progressing for you. And with this fiery climax approaches, it's like so many things are going to come to a head for you at once. And it's going to feel like everything around you is falling apart because you need to activate the throat chakra. You you speak. The way you speak needs a lot of attention. Yeah, nothing will come out of this situation of you being quiet. You not speaking up. You not speaking your needs, your desires. You not asking for help. You not seeking assistance seeking guidance utilizing the resources that are available to you like if you don't act nothing's gonna happen so you're being called to act to call forward and to move okay um hold on i'm gonna use the same decks i only use two decks for the pre-shuffle for each pile so we have ambition here yes calling forward what you desire so a lot of you, you have a lot of big dreams, but you have no idea on how to achieve them, nor are you taking the steps to achieve them. Starting small, it's like you want to just go hard or go home. And it's like, no, for you to really achieve the ambition that you desire, for you to achieve that long money status, for you to achieve wealth and, and, and um, investments and and whatever long money is to you or whatever wealth is to you for you to achieve that in your life start with what you have start with with what's already in your kitchen i hear in the kitchen cook it's time to get in the kitchen and start whipping and cooking and flipping and shit okay yes cash doll finesse finesse the situation by working with the tools that you have now and then use the tools that you have now to build from that but as long as you're not acting nothing is happening okay so these blessings are giving, like spirit is, is giving you the power to speak life into your life, okay? Like literally, speak life into your life, whatever ambition, whatever dreams you have, whatever situation in your life you're trying to finesse to have it work for you versus against you. It's like you need to, you need to utilize your throat chakra to, to, I don't know, to call in life. Like I really can't, I, there's, I feel like there's another way to say it but i can't quite put my finger on it so i'm just repeating the same shit um let me get a final message for the collective before we move into the individual tiles please clarify this communication spirit strength reverse okay so a lot of you it spirit is this is a time of of expressing vulnerability okay of letting your guard down of of actually showing your true face your true colors your true truth okay again communication is about honesty it's about transparency it's about authenticity but you need to show all faces of yourself the good and the bad you're so used to just showing the good well what about the bad because the bad is is surfacing okay a fiery climax approaches please clarify this page of cups yeah you've been feeling this and you it's like I don't know this page of cups he's been in his head a lot okay and his emotions a lot wanting to um execute but not knowing what to do to execute it's like you make excuses for why you can't do something versus just doing it i hear get on your shit yeah it's play time is over rest time is over it's time to get to work all right I, yeah the moon so something is being revealed to you, especially as we shift into fall. Um, in the month of September, your dreams are going to be very, very heightened. Um, the downloads are going to be extremely heightened as well. The I feel like there's a third eye crown chakra activation that's happening collectively over the next 30 days, especially um, the opposite of Virgo is Pisces. So, so it's... It's like whatever whatever tools you need to finesse finesse whatever energy this is to work in your favor. Tap into your opposite energy. If you're whatever your sun sign is, tap into your sister sign. Your sister sign holds the tools for you to finesse your ambitions. Okay, and I'm gonna leave it there. Yeah. Okay. That's the collective message. Now let's get into these piles. 
Hold on, because this song keeps popping up in my head and I don't, never looked at the lyrics, but I'm about to look it up. Hold on. Ambition by Wale, still collective message. But it says, the time is now on everything. Took my heart away from money. I ain't interested in fame. And I pray that never change. Ambition is priceless. It's something that's in your veins. And I put that on my name. Uh, the only hope I had was selling dope. <laughs> that in the kitchen energy. I was on my grind. Because times were harder than a cellar floor. My mama taught me never steal and never tell on folks. I grew up looking at the niggas that was selling coke. Oh, I was raised by the stop sign, no religion. I was getting saved by the Glock 9. By the minute, I was getting paid like a hotline. Serving rolling fiends was calling. We was dot com. Well connected, well respected, and well protected. And ain't get accepted, well rejected, and now they regret it. Ain't get my message was a signal when I was texting. The niggas I was calling was fraud. And I learned my lesson. Now I move with aggression, use my mind as a weapon because chances are never given. They they took in like interceptions. So throw that pass. I'll be the cornerback. Me and Fuller and MMG gonna bring that Warner back for my ambition. Easy to dream a dream, though it's harder to live it. They gonna love me for my ambition. Easy to dream a dream, though it's harder to live it. Um, next verse, my ambition to win just to get me some ends, help me pay my, help me pay my little rent, maybe sit in the bins. I saw mama praying as she waits on results. It was hot in the kitchen. Can I wait on the porch? My father was missing warlord Oliver North. Life was digging me deeper. I kept on coming up short, breaking so many laws, waking up in the dark. Who cut my power off? It's time to move that powder soft. Not too many options. When you come in from the project, sitting in the trap now, you move in Cindy Lauper. Girls wanna have fun and then and a nigga girls wanna have fun and a nigga with some change, and I doubt that never change. Um ambition is priceless, that's something that's in your veins, and I doubt that ever change. Ambition is my shit, and I put that on my name and I doubt that ever change for my ambition. Well wishes to my opposition. You niggas probably cop a plea before you cop a pistol. I never got nothing against them. They fucking potential. They fucking potential, but every nigga who can read gotta get his issues. Subscribe niggas reside where all the lions and killers be. And I ain't spend a minute up in the streets, but I'm limitless mentally and I'm lyrically the MC. LeBron shit, I was heading six after 23. And family is everything and money is less important. Long as your mama love you, don't ever love a woman. I got a lot of bitches, they got a lot of feelings, but I got that green on my eyes. And that ain't no Donnie Simpson. I retire you niggas. Fuck you in your position. They play surface so slippery. Niggas can't even kick it. Y'all rambling, talking shit to these bitches. You know you real. You don't say it. You know you real. We gonna feel it, Ralph. Beautiful music, painting pictures. That be my vision. They gonna love me for my ambition. Easy to dream a dream, though harder, though it's harder to live it. They gonna love me for my ambition, okay? So tap into your ambition. Period. All right. Now let's get into the individual piles. Without further ado, pile one. Hey baby, you chose the beautiful smoky quartz. Ooh, quartz, quartz. Okay, so check this, check this. Somebody might be gifting you jewelry that's, that's I hear it's quartz, it's not real, okay? Uh, I hear cubic zirconia. Oh, ooh. be mindful or if you're trying to give some, like just wait till you got it, just be honest, okay? Communication is key. Um, Pile one, you should definitely watch the collective message because I see a theme here with this uh, smoky quartz for you. Um, but we're going to, this energy will be from August 27th through September 25th, the blessings that are in the atmosphere for you. Um, this is a uh, Virgo new moon energy until we approach the Libra new moon and that's on September 25th. So without further ado, so without further ado, Something has been, something has been long, it's, I hear it's been a long time coming, okay? So something that you've been waiting on for a while will be achieved. Um, I hear the yes, you have a yes, you have a go ahead between the dates of September, I'm sorry, yes, yeah, uh, shit, shit, around September 25th. So the Libra new moon specifically is heightened for you, okay? But I feel like, so you're, as we, for, okay, 
definitely watch the Libra New Moon Blessings pick a card. But as we approach the Libra New Moon for you, Pile 1, in September, like whatever's happening with these blessings are aligning you to receive whatever has been been delayed because without further ado, it's time. All right, so we have for you, emotions are running high. Your emotions are a theme for you. Um, and we have Spinderella transition. Yeah, you're moving forward, okay? You could be in the midst of a transition. You could have already been preparing for a transition or a transition. I hear for some of you, it's going to come out of thin air. Like literally, it's going to fall into your lap. It's going to be a true miracle for you. Um, also, with these emotions are running high, you could be going through an emotional battle. Like as you have to close a door to walk into a new door, um, it's, it's, it's very heavy for you. I feel like you have a lot of water energy within your birth chart. Um, you're, you're the type of individual that where your emotions are on your sleeves. Like they're very, very front and center for you. And your emotions help you when it comes to navigating life and life's territories is what I'm here. I also hear turbulent waters as well, but, um, you could be going overseas or, I don't know. You could be cross country. I, I see cross country. I see cross country track, I, something like that. But whatever this is, um, this has been like, this is something has been delayed. So this is also give me the energy of something that you had planned on achieving and it just kept falling through and you just like, damn, I guess it's just not meant to happen, but it's happening heavy on it's happening energy for you. So for your blessing theme is it's happening. Um, but you are like, I feel like these next Something about the next 30 days, whenever you watch this, are hella intense. Um, something about the last, I hear, you know, it's like last force for, last 48, first 48, but I hear last 30 days, uh, uh, next 30 days, or first 30, I don't know, some shit like that. <sighs> something between 30 and 60. Pile 1, Virgo, New Moon, Blessings. So the two of swords fell on top of this emotions are running high. I feel, and it's crazy because I just felt this wave. It's like, you know how how you're on, um, I see a circle in my third eye. But it, it could feel like you're, you're like sinking into like a dark hole type of energy. It's like when in space, when you go into a black hole, you have no idea if you're coming out or what you're going into. It's like that type of energy. Whatever this is, the two of swords upright, you you truly, it's something you don't see coming. But with this, um, this um, the flags on her, that's tattooed on her arm, like the flags, you know, like at the beginning of a race, when you have like the female come out and she's about to signal when the race starts, type of energy some of you could be into drag racing or you could have like you could be into a club like a motorcycle club a car club something like that some type of club but with this tool source something is coming that that you don't see but you're getting messages to it with the way the birds the birds are cawing <laughs> um <clears throat> hold on let me see there the the, the cacao hold on which bird cacaws it's a black bird is it the raven that could cause? It's a crow. So crows will are messengers for you as um, between the energy of the Pisces new moon. Shit. When was the Pisces new moon? Hold on. I did not mean to say that. Virgo new moon. Hold on. Or you could be a Pisces moon, but hold on. Pisces new moon. The Pisces new moon was in March. It was on March 2nd at 1234 p.m. So steps, levels. So something has been building for a lot of you. It's been building since March. March is a three month. So Empress energy. Something something has been, been um, whether you're male or female, like it's that, that creation energy and how a baby grows. Something has been growing for you since March. Um... I feel like also something may have stopped in March as well. And you may have felt like it was a dead end, but shit still, it's like it's been growing behind the scenes type of energy. Um, let me see if I can get more information. Yeah, six of swords reverse, five of swords, something. It was like something that you wanted to move forward. It may have stopped moving forward in March, but we have the six energy here. Over the last 60 days, I don't I don't know where the 60 is coming from or this Pisces new moon energy, 
but Pisces emotions, the opposite of Virgo is Pisces. So it makes sense. I'm getting this energy of, of, of opposites finally coming together. Like what was that discord is, is coming. It's, it's starting to flow. It's starting to be more mutual in a sense. And with this, please clarify transition for Pi 1. We have the star, something you've been ho hoping and wishing for. So this is what it is, Pi 1. This is what I'm getting, like, to just simplify it. Because I feel like the message is all over the place. Like this Five of Swords. Like, he's like, what the fuck? Okay, so crows are messengers for you, okay? There's something about a 60-day cycle. The last 30 days and the next 30 days. Okay, thank you, Spirit, for helping me simplify this. Reflect back to March and the Pisces new moon. Something happened around March 2nd, something you were involved in, something that you were invested in. With the Six of Swords reverse, it just stopped moving forward, like out of nowhere. It's giving me ghosting energy as well, especially because of this Two of Swords. Something's coming back that you don't see. And you may have had thoughts about this, like reminiscing, like trying to figure out how the fuck we got here. But there's been lack of understanding, lack, lack of clarity, but there's a lot of Swords energy here. And going back to that communication, needing to be honest, the communication is coming it's coming but the way the one two three four energy back to the pisces new moon and then that was on that was on the second so three two countdown it was a countdown and then a count up type of energy it's oh, hold on knight of swords this could have to do with an air sign or you could be an air sign or this is something that has really been in your head when it comes to emotional fulfillment, Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Wands, a new beginning. You felt completely checked out of your power. You felt checked, mate, in this energy. But the angels are like, it's like God is like, hold the fuck up. You got my child fucked up, like type of energy. And I don't know. It's like the outcome is beautiful, but the process to getting here has been very, very anxious, very, very unsteady, very, very mental mentally agonizing type of energy and with this king of cups spirit is bringing you a peace of mind so clarity and enlightenment understanding why everything unfolded the way that it did it's finally coming to you yeah ten of pentacles as well as a new star like something is coming together hermit yeah you thought you poured a cup out with this five of cups but enlightenment is coming to you and whatever cup that was poured out it's being refilled and a new beginning is happening with the full here Okay. Whew. I hope that makes sense for you guys. All right, let's move on. I hear your love is incredible by Cisco. Your love is incredible. You can say it's unforgettable. Somebody misses your love. Yeah, that Tina Pinnacle. Sacred reverence. Somebody misses your love. Like you are the, the emotions again, that that wearing your heart on your sleeves type of energy. Like you are you are a pure soul. Like you are divine. Like your love is unique. It's one of a kind. It's 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 baby, you can't find your I, I hear lost and found energy. I hear a loss without you, but then lost and found like a diamond. Like a diamond, somebody had a diamond. Then they fumbled that shit and lost it, but they're coming back to reclaim it. That type of energy, yeah. Body and soul in this green heart. The heart chakra is being activated for you over the next 30 days. And this could be a transition as well. Um, you could have closed off your heart chakra, but it is reopening. Yeah, the oracle's gift, the tea is coming in hot. So just relax, take a deep breath, and sit back and enjoy it, baby. Anything all the power of purpose so for others of you something about aquarius energy and and being being um it's interesting because leo is known to take center stage but the opposite of leo is aquarius energy so with this power of purpose i just feel like um i hear chain breaker energy like something whatever <sighs> I see a broken chain being welded back together like it's 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 all uh, in the sparks that are coming out of the welding like something is being re-sparked 
Yeah, and purified. We have purity here. That full energy, a brand new beginning. The full is Aquarius energy as well. So anything else with this power of purpose? I'm going to dig deeper. Potential. And then we have thriving here. Um, Hold on. I hear the golden child. Oh, and the healer came out. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get one more. No, I got to get after this one more. My ancestors have something to say. Hi, one. That's just too many, Lord. I just need one. I hear one wish by Ray J. Yeah, somebody is missing. I hear uh, Rihanna. If it's loving that you want, you should make me your girl. Okay, so this came out. It, it was the only one that flipped up right. And yeah, hold on, let me get one more for you, Pa One. Yeah, whatever smoky course, whatever has been unclear, but the communication is coming. Pile one, power of purpose. Six. Oh, I thought that said success, but shit, success is, is meant for you. I saw the sun. And, but we have equilibrium. Equilibrium here, and I see the um, a new romantic cycle begins. Let me see if it comes out for you. Pile one. I just. Hold on. Oh, we have bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. I want to show you something though. I'm being called to pull bring it out like something is being pulled out of you like with that transition energy like it's like um i hear a word think no okay i see that in my hold on i what's the cat, catapult is that a word where is this card at It says your love is incredible. You can say it's unforgettable. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. Or you have are a Sag. Hold on a minute. I cannot find this card. Yeah, there's something that you just could not figure out. But you're about to figure it out. Can we make it more than sexual? I found it. So something is interesting. I found it after I said, can we make it more than sexual? So this could have been like something or someone or whatever you were. You were building something. You thought there was purpose in this connection. You thought it was you, you know, you, this equilibrium, you and this other person. Also, um, a bird. Oh, shit. What are they called? Geese, geese flying could be a theme for you as well as a messenger um, for you. Birds are communicators for you. Um, birds, you have powerful birds as spirit guides as well, pile one. But with this, um, with this energy, so you were the power of purpose. You were building something with someone, okay? So a lot of goals were talked about, a lot of dreams, homes, family, just just building energy i hear building blocks i hear bob the builder can we fix it and that was the energy it was very very balanced it was very new it was very like fresh okay and then there was a halt here but there was so much potential all right and this relationship was healing in a lot of aspects or so you thought okay but a lot of you have had to do some healing from this whatever is coming back to you also with this thriving card we, we have shambhala initiations the retreating to recharge, trusting in the process, Dharma. So with this power of purpose, like you may not, again, you're going to understand the steps as to why, why you were just left in the unknown, left in the dark, left in the cold, left without understand, under, left without clarity, left without understand. I hear an understatement. So a lot of you were really, really hurt, like hurt, heartbroken. I see the three of cups and the light seers deck and how the, the heart is split. So it's like, number one, you don't understand why, which is causing heartbreak. Number two, it was something that you thought was really, really positive and it turned out to be a fucking flop. And you're, that's been, your heart's been in that place as well. Whatever this is, 
with bring love into the situation first of all spirit wants you to know you didn't do anything wrong whatever this is the other party has some lessons to go through with this um initiation shambhala initiations trusting in the process and dharma like this was it was it, it was already written okay that that has been a theme is already written whoever was i hear ambushed with this energy you are you are a powerful healer like your purpose in this life is to heal in some type of aspect it could be by utilizing your throat chakra creating a platform speaking up you could heal through through herbal medicine you could there's multiple ways to heal you could be you could um be a um i hear a healthy empath um you really know how to relate to emotions you really know how to relate to people but healing is a part of your purpose in this life in case you didn't know and you thrive when you are operating in a healing modality also but when it comes to whatever situation this is that you have just said fuck it to not here fuck that shit i'm good spirit is asking you to bring love into the situation um i was called to pull out both of these cards both of these libra libra cards so justice is being served in this dynamic um a new romantic cycle begins a win-win outcome is forecast a lot of you just don't like wherever you are in your life right now you just don't know how the fuck is going to happen but i i feel the need to express to you that it's not your job to know how it's going to happen you just need to know it's going to happen okay 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 also there's a need to master your craft before you try to express it collectively is what i hear imagine you also centipedes you can see centipedes over the next 30 days to let you know abundance is coming towards you quickly also, someone likes the way you move your body. They love to watch you dance. They love to just watch you. Some of you, they like to watch you get ready. Final messages for Pile 1, Virgo New Moon Blessings. Yes, we have romance celebration party. Okay, some of you could be going to parties. You could be going to events. I know wedding season is in September. But whatever it is, you're going to have a really, really good time, Pile 1. We have owl, good advice from a wise person. So whatever is trying to retrograde back into your life, like if you if you are unclear emotionally, seek out advice from someone else that has no attachment to the situation that can give you a neutral perspective, okay? That's too many. We have scales here. Yeah, that Libra energy, keep your life in balance. So whatever this was, it took you off balance. I hear off kilter. Bird flying. News is on the way. I cannot make this shit up. Like birds are messages for you. Um, really listen and pay attention to the messages and the downloads that you hear in your mind. Like it's not, it's not random and it's not for nothing is what I hear. But um, with keep your life in balance, there's a need to um, do things in balance and moderation. Be mindful of your drinking as well. Heavy heavy emphasis on wine drinking or just drinking in general i hear you're not mindful of the spirits that you're calling in when you're drinking and it's very very detrimental we have bear danger especially in money matters so over the next 30 days if you want to see your money grow you need to save and not spend it okay <laughs> that's how you can see your money grow also be mindful of people that that are taking advantage of you because they don't have it there's this energy of like going out and celebrating and then like you're a giver you're the type to pay for everybody's drinks or buy somebody else's meals like just be mindful say no say you good you in the house yeah increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals so i feel like with increasing your efforts that ambition whatever you have was like it wasn't meant to be spirit is saying work needs to be put into it starting with honest communication we have hearts love deep affection and caring like love a, ble a blessing of love is happening for sure for you i hear last one last one hold on please clarify Oh, 
Hold on, I don't understand. Oh, I understand. Okay, so we have Peacock here and we have Caterpillar. And that cat catapulting energy. Um, But we have Broken Bridge, Unsuccessful Outcome to a Problem. And then we have Peacock here, Beware of Great Pride. So whatever love is trying to come into your life, if you try to be prideful and be in your ego and reject it, you, you're you rejecting a, a major blessing. Like truly, like something, someone, heavy on someone has done a lot of inner work, okay, to approach you in this manner, in this manager, what the fuck? Y'all fucking with the boss? Y'all doing that? Mm. Don't do that. No, you need to say no to that. Okay, but whatever this is outside of the workplace. <laughs> um, no, no, no. Yeah, if you're fucking with your balls, that shit is not going to work out in your favor. You about to get played and fired. Okay, but for others of you um, with this situation, you may want to reject it due to the healing that you've had to do because of it. But don't reject the blessing. Uh, someone has done a lot of work to even approach you in this manner. They had to get it. They had to get permission from spirit before approaching you, type of shit. But yeah, caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So if you're sad and you see a caterpillar, just know a change is on the way. And bold. When it comes to finances, resources, you're good. Um, but something. Hold on. There's also a. What is this? Some of you suffered some type of loss in the month of July, and that's emphasizing the caterpillar energy. You are healing from that actively. Um, just know, like, you're going to overcome whatever battle that you're facing. Yeah, recognition, reward for merit, like spirit is stepping in, and we have the will. Indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So whatever disrupted your frequency in the month of July, you've been allowing that to affect you all throughout August. And as we move into September, Spirit is saying, put forth more effort, increase your efforts, um, tap back into your power and handle your business. Yeah. Release the frustration. Okay. At this point, you are in your own way, pal one. And I'm going to leave it there. I will be uploading the September 2022 readings for each individual sign. Make sure you watch your placements. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I love you. God bless you. Pile two. Hey, pile two. Let me get some Carmex. You chose a beautiful amethyst. I'm getting wordplay energy. But hey, baby, we are focused on your blessings from August 27th to September 25th when we have the Libra. No more. Okay. Hold on. Let me cleanse the space. I hear you, baby. You don't need to worry about a motherfucking thing. Okay. Where's my, um, sorry about the shaking. My apologies. I feel like you're receiving a lot. Of, it's a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of accountability happening and some apologies happening. I hear some shake in the room, pop smoke vibes happening, shaking the table. I'm interesting. I'm interesting. Um, okay, thank you. You think I'm interesting? Um, I am interested in seeing what your cards are. But I'm being called to Florida water my hands. Heavy on crown chakra expansion for you. Um, especially since we have the beautiful amethyst. So let's get into it. Your hard work is paying off, baby. New moon and Capricorn. And we have voice, heavy throat chakra vibes over the next 30 days, especially with Mercury being in retrograde and what the Mars, Mars is in Gemini. I said the Mars, but Mars is in Gemini, but we have voice and your hard work is paying off. So off rip. Okay. If you have a social media platform, podcast, YouTube, Instagram channel, um, something, TikTok, um, if you host any type of platform, okay, if you are the leader of something, okay, 
um, or a part of something that speaks to the collective, speaks to the community, you may not have seen the rewards of your efforts, but you are about to receive the rewards of your efforts over the next 30 days, okay? Your hard work is paying off. Your consistency is paying off. Your dedication is paying off. Your ambition is paying off. Your, um, what I said consistency, I said dedication, but yeah, baby, all of that shit is paying the fuck off, okay? The work that you've been putting in is about to come back to you tenfold. For some of you, it's a hundredfold. It depends on how long you've been putting in that work, okay? It's different levels to this shit, okay? Okay, I don't know why I'm doing my hands like this. I'm getting maestro energy, directing energy. So yeah, you're the leader of something, okay? You are the boss of some shit, okay? And you are about to see the fruits of your labor come in. So it's interesting. I usually end with the tea leaf, but we're going to start with the tea leaf for you, okay? It's, there's a switch up happening. I hear this um, switch up with, um, hold on, Nick Grant and Yo Gotti. So... Okay, so we have Seahorse Family Matters, older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. So there's, that's separate, and protection from a powerful friend. Pile two. Pile two. Virgo, new moon blessings. Oh, we have guaranteed success. Hmm. I feel like there's there's a lot of um you know how they say trigger warning death comes in threes I feel like that may be a theme oh I also see police brutality being a theme again over the next 30 days so yeah, you you are definitely involved with the public pile too. Yeah, psychic ability, trust your intuition. And period of prosperity and abundance. Bread is coming to you. The bread, the bag is getting bigger. Okay, so we have a couple of different situations here. Give me one second, please. Um, I feel like a lot of you may have chose pile two. Oh, wow. Okay, let me just give you the stories as I'm getting them, okay? <sighs> One story. You may hear on the news a situation of police brutality. Number two, some of you could have some type of involvement with the law with the gavel here. And you could be this protection from a powerful friend. Someone could be very well connected. And someone could have you or could, could seem to have you trapped in a situation. But spirit is going to untrap you from the situation. I hear if you're truly not guilty, you're going to be found not guilty. And you're going to be protected in the process. But if you are guilty, karma, justice is coming somehow, some way. That's one story. For another, for another part of you or for some of you as well, um, there's a story of someone has passed away an older woman specifically that you were really connected to and this is like giving me the energy of soul food and when um the mother the grandmother when she died how it just it shook the family dynamic it's like that type of energy and spirit is saying like you have the power like whatever energy she left behind you have the power to mend that okay which which one it was a little boy in um and soul food so there could be a child there is specifically a child that that helps bring the family together or new birth like a child comes in and that's what brings the family together i don't know what death comes to life i'm getting emotional i feel this emotional so i'm about to tap tap out but i hear i need to tap in so tap into your emotion express your emotion allow yourself the time to heal there's no time limit on healing don't allow anybody else to rush your process of healing either we all experience loss and emotion differently we have different views and yours are need to be respected okay others of you or for some of you as well okay we have reconciliation here 
We also have someone new is entering your life, psychic ability, trust your intuition. So with this energy, you're going to have to choose between two people. With this pineapple energy, I'm hearing dice pineapple. So someone that you used to have, um, it could have just been a just a strictly sexual relationship or nothing went past the sex. Someone is coming back to reconcile with you and someone new is coming in at the same damn time. Future vibes. So you're going to have to trust your intuition in making a choice, okay? And then for others of you that, if you also, or others of you that have a platform, baby, the bread is coming in. Success is happening, okay? Like, that's a lot. And that's a lot. That's that's a whole reading within itself. But let me, I'm going to um, clarify each pile because there's different scenarios here. So some of some things moving forward, okay? This is just moving to the collective. I'm not going to clarify each pile because that's just, just, that's just going to extend this. So let's just see what else comes out. And if it resonates, it resonates depending on whatever situation you were in with what I just explained. Oh, So please clarify Six of Swords for Pile 2. So Six of Swords is clarified by the star, hope, wish fulfillment. Um, we just had the Aquarius full moon. Something had, since the Aquarius full moon, I just feel like luck has been on your side. Um, Pile 2, like things have been on the up and up. Yeah, Eight of Swords reverse. You're, you're, you see things progressing. You're, you're actually seeing... Your hard work pay off. Pay, your hard work pay off, even though you haven't reached that peak yet. Like you're starting to see the rewards. The gratitude is being shown. The the appreciation is being shown. So switching back to that reconciliation energy, we have the Eight of Cups reverse. Something is being revisited. Five of Swords. Uh, this <laughs> interesting. This came out in the collective energy. Definitely watch the collective energy. But when it comes, so yeah, this retrograde and matters of the heart is about to be intense worldwide. Okay, baby, people are coming. So for you, pal, too, people are coming, baby. They are about to spill all the tea, all the beans, okay, baby? You about to know shit you didn't even want to know, okay? <laughs> Because something, yes, yeah, some without you, something has not been growing. It's like, you know, I'm getting this energy like just collectively, not just with your pal, but heavy with your pal. Like that one that got away, they're coming back for that shit. Like, I don't know. This, yeah. It's not, like, whoever used to like be in the streets, baby, they want to be at home. Like, cuffing season is about to be a real ass cuffing season. This shit ain't about to be for no play play. Yeah, the world, like, someone is baiting, they ready to change their life. Oh my God. It's like, I hear fuck, I, I hear DMX what these bitches want for me, but I hear fuck what these bitches want for me, baby. What do you want for me? And I'm going to give it to you, okay? Yeah, the star. I hear, I pray for times like this. Thank you, Lord. Whoever's on the receiving end of this. Yeah, victory, six of wands. Okay, your hard work is paying off, okay? Temperance, okay? The angels have stepped in. Also, you, the three of swords. Okay, so you have also stepped in. When it comes to yourself, I feel like this temperance energy is you. I feel like you've leveled up in the game, spiritually, metaphorically. You've just leveled up. Like you have really, you, you may have put yourself on a pedestal that you deserve to be on. You finally recognized your worth, pal, too. And you have done a lot of healing with this Three of Swords, okay? It's been a lot of lonely nights, okay, honey? Everybody else been cuddled up and shit and getting their ass cuffed and rubbed on, baby. You've been, been in the bed by yourself, okay? You've been in the bed by yourself, lifting yourself up, loving on yourself, fuck, fucking the shit out of yourself when you're masturbating type of energy. And with this Two of Cups, you really haven't been in the dating scene. You've been just living leaving love alone you may have been dipping and dabbing flirting here and there but there hasn't been any real commitment okay so because you have leveled up in this energy yes the emperor okay emperor ace of <laughs> ace of on, let me shuffle because this no yes the emperor fell on my lap so since you have leveled up baby 
and mastered and seen and recognized and affirmed your motherfucking worth, okay? What you are walking towards with this Eight of Cups is whatever you wrote down on that piece of paper that was, that was everything that you desired, okay? Um, you're walking away from, from whatever, whatever energy is into your life, job, people, friends, family, that makes you feel like you are not on top of the world, like you're not that bitch, like you're not that man, that nigga, that, that boy, that girl, how, however old you are, like you're walking away, you're leaving that shit right where the fuck it is and moving on because you know, you know, your two of cups, this bitch just flipped up right, okay? You know that your emperor or your empress, however you like to date in this world, is out there, okay? And baby, you're going to keep truth. Ace of Swords, you're going to keep moving on until you, you'll be alone, until that the right energy approaches you appropriately. Yeah. Anything else for Pal 2? All right, no from this. Hold on, let me get you one of these. How to Virgo Nemo. All right, that shit just flew on the flow. I hear real girls get down on the flow, on the flow like a pimp. But somebody, it's like whoever has like been dipping and dabbing, like you really ain't been giving love a chance. You've been, you've been out here, you've been pimping in these streets, baby. But baby, you about to commit. So this is a theme collectively because this came out for... Did it come out for you? Proud one. Or the collective. I don't know. Shambhala initiations. Retreating to recharge. Trusting in the process. Dharma. So whatever has been moving slow in your life. It could be your love life. Your friends. Your tribe. Whatever you've been building. Your, your platform. You just again trust in the process baby. Because you see this, this palace. That's awaiting. That you've, been, you've had your eyes set on. Again spirit said your hard work is paying off. Okay. No, I hear do not fret, my child. Do not fret. All right, I'm being called back to the tea leaves, so we're about to end this. But one more deck is calling my name. It's the Heart Oracle deck. Final messages for Pal 2. So over the next 30 days, um, or from August 27th through September 25th, um, we have in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Is this you or someone else? this i see younger man so going back i being called back to that soul food energy have a little boy just left by the hand for pal two yeah solar plexus chakra one more please and we have hill yes you are being called to bring something back together that has been broken And a little, a younger man, a little boy, like a masculine energy is heavily involved in this. Yeah, it, it fell out, like it wants to speak. For some of you, if you lost a child that was a little boy, they want you to mend the family. Side message. Yeah, a misunderstanding that happens needs to come to an understanding. I hear agree to disagree and move on. Yeah, not successful plans because this, what what's happening, it's not healthy for the family. And a lot of you could be dealing with a woman like there's a one, I hear a nagging ass bitch. Damn. I now I hear nagging by is it yin yang twins every now and then you get mad you treat me bad and it makes me sad always in the streets chasing ass I'm sorry this bitch. yeah that energy wah 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 she talking to me like I'm dumb um anything else yeah September. So I hear tying the knot like wedding energy. So someone could be getting married. Okay, you know how, <laughs> you know how like in the, I don't know if they actually do this in real life, but um, when they're like, there's anyone that objects to this union, I see someone objecting. 
or wanting to object like or it's like the groom does not want to marry this bitch but they're gonna go through it go through with it anyway somebody needs to speak up like i don't know i hear save yourself or save your friend knight of wands quickly quickly like this thing i hear act pronto yeah ten of pentacles that family energy i don't know i don't know Pelsu. i'm gonna leave it there baby i don't know baby talk to your spirit guides for the rest or tap into the september readings to get because september is here so there will be clues in the september readings that i post um when i do them i'm gonna start them today after i post this Starting with Virgo. If you're a Virgo, happy motherfucking birthday. Some of you could be Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, South, No. I don't know. You could also be your um, Capricorn perfection year as well. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there, pal, too. Like, comment, subscribe, share, baby. I want to know the tea, too. If you know what I'm talking about with this wedding shit, let me know. I'm curious. I'm nosy. Um, but it'll come out somehow one way or another i'm gonna move on to pile three hey pile three it's ray welcome back to my channel i am here with your virgo new moon blessings reading you chose the hawks I believe this is hawks tiger's eye i believe hawks blue tiger's eye some something like that but i hear eyes of a hawk You see things that others don't see. Also, your perception is changing. I hear bird's eye view. It's starting to... Bird's eye view, full circle moment, heightened perception. It's the energy that I'm getting for you. So this energy can be felt from August 27th to September 25th. September 25th is the Libra new moon. But we have a personal issue reaches resolution for you. Ooh, and we have defense, Roxanne Shante. So a lot of you have been receiving a lot of no's, a lot of rejections, a lot of delays, a lot of just been put on hold regarding something. And you've, you've been fighting your way through because she literally has on boxing gloves in this. So, and you're at this point, it's, I feel like you're bored. Um, but whatever, whatever you have, has, whatever has been resistant, towards you um you're gonna have a breakthrough of that personal issue reaches resolution type of vibes um also i feel like a lot of you a blessing for you is learning how to be less defensive less on guard more vulnerable more emotional especially since this is a full moon and cancer card with a personal issue reaches resolution you're just learning how to really like let your guard down okay I hear you're learning how to not be offensive or defensive. Pile three. Some of you like to, I hear I flip my hair back and forth. Who is that? Uh, Willow Smith. Something about a willow tree. Pile three, Virgo and the Moon Blessings. We have karmic board clearing, energetic clearing, rewrite your story, live your truth. So I feel like with this rewrite your story, live your truth, karmic board clearing card that we have here, like you, your natural energy is not defensive. Your natural energy is not on guard. Your natural energy is not offensive. But life has trained you into this individual, just like you train to box. And with these boxing gloves, like, it's like there, you, it's like you have to protect yourself. And the, the best way for you to protect yourself is to be defensive. But spirit is like showing you there's another way. You can still be vulnerable, still be loving, still be nurturing, still be caring, still have your guard down, but be protected as fuck in the, in the same process. It's, it has to do with um, that discernment, the le leveling and mastering of discernment, that hawk's eyes. So your discernment is being mastered over the next 30, day, 30 days. And I hear it's about time and that's a motherfucking blessing within itself. Oh, your ancestors want to speak. <laughs> uh, pile three. 
Oh, so we have grief here. Yeah, that life has trained you to be yeah, this way. And we have the mother of air reverse. So that's the queen of swords reverse. Um, you've been extremely detached. Emotionally unavailable. Yeah, and living a life of illusion. Like, and that living a life of illusion is like thinking like someone's always out to get you. Sabotaging your own blessings, your own miracles. Sabotaging the help that comes your way. And that's why you've been receiving a lot of rejection because you've been sabotaging a lot of your blessings. Yeah, temperance. But um, that energy is shifting for you. It's like you're taking accountability and responsibility of just how toxic you've been. And you're becoming, you're clearing that, clearing that energy and rewriting your story. But there's more to this illusion. Please clarify. So when it comes to a fire sign energy, whoever's resident, pal three, there's a fire sign of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that I hear you have wronged. With this defense, like you have been defensive against I feel like somebody tried to help you and you became defensive and rejected the help and you separated yourself. Yeah, domination, fire sign, energy. They they gave you some, it's like someone gave you some a tea of knowledge. I hear someone gave you the tree of knowledge, okay? But instead you decided to become the serpent and and sabotage that shit sabotage the connection but when you are explaining this story like if this person's name comes up like you lie you lie or you speak a truth that's not the truth you speak a truth that fits your narrative that creates an illusion that energy is being cleared the fuck out Yeah, cycle is ending. We have disappointment, swiftness in the universe. So this cycle is coming in swiftly. Okay, um, a lot of you, like you, you're being called to to admit your wrongdoings. Yeah, the high priestess. Okay, because this purpose, victory. Once you do this, you will be victorious. You'll see a shift in your life. But until then, you have hell to pay because this person, Ace of Earth, really tried to put you on a path of a new beginning, but you sabotaged it. Like it's, it's the same that that I keep my eyes keep going back to this defense energy. Yeah, destruction reverse. It's time for you to make some changes. That was comfort reverse in the father of air, the king of swords. So, hmm. Also, I'm getting, a, there's a, a male energy that has been manipulating you as well. There's a, there's a lot of whatever energy. So that's a blessing. Fucking seeing the truth, a hawk's eye. It's like once you remove yourself and then you start to reevaluate everything like you. Oh. Yeah, daughter of earth. That's when a new beginning starts for you. Yeah, Ace of Air. You're going to figure this out. And this shit is going to come real quick. It's swiftly. Like a hurricane. A hurricane is really happening where you're located. Between now and... Um, between... Uh, I'm recording this on August 25th. So between August 25th and September 25th specifically. But happiness is here as well. It's like once you release the energy that has been manipulating you... And attached to the energy that has been telling you the truth. That's when this change comes into your life. And you're able to glide forward in life. Yeah, and inner peace is... is um, I hear no longer above you, but in you. And no longer beneath you, but in you.
pile three Virgo new moon blessings. Just too many, Lord. Pile three. A powerful move. So a lot of you have been defensive. It's just the same energy. It's like a lot of you have been defensive against the wrong energy. Truly. But you're about to figure out some shit. Like you're going to figure something out, Pal 3. Yes, awakening genius. You're going to figure something out, I promise you, between now and September, between August 25th and September 25th. Like, you're going to have your know, hawk's eye view, baby. And once you figure this shit out, like, it's a game changer. Like, I hear somebody being read for their rights. Like, how the fuck, you bitch. I also see, like, oh. I, I, uh, like whoever's been the manipulator like they're about to once they're called somebody needs to call this person out on their shit that's the energy with this energetic clearing so, live your truth somebody needs to call somebody else out on something but because of someone's position they're not doing it but whoever you, you're gonna have the courage you about to put them boxing gloves on and you're about to call this shit out and that rewrites history yo is what i'm getting like i don't know what this is i don't know what this is yeah sadness and isolation people are gonna be like nah bitch you lying but then it's like this it creates a domino effect somehow and and it's like people start to see where the fuck you're coming from and the sadness, I hear the sadness and isolation is no more. Yeah, manifest like, I don't know, this master reversed, the devil reversed, like you're no longer shackled. Shackles off your feet so you can dance, okay? Yes, opportunity beckons, but there's something that you're refusing to see. The spirit has been trying to enlighten you to for a very long time. You've been ignoring your intuition and choosing to say chain and trap, but no more. Yes, third eye chakra, baby. You, mm. You're about to realize some shit, okay? Somebody has been... There's this energy of seclusion that's floating. I don't know. But you're about to call it out. That's what I do know. I want to know what this is too. Shit, I'm losing. <sighs> Anything else? Before we get into the tea leaf. I hear it, December by Olivia. They, that's been coming up randomly. Um, so this person could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Um, three of Wands is in my lab. But either way, you're moving in a new direction. You could be cutting off a whole fucking community, a whole tribe yourself. Yeah, judgment. Judgment is being called on this situation. Yeah, tower moment. I'm telling you, some like, baby... Yeah, someone thinks that they're getting away no more. They may have been gliding through, but no more. The high priestess, I'm going to end it there. A cycle is ending, ten of wands, justice is being served, and celebration is happening. Y'all keep me posted. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Make sure you check out your September 2022 readings when I post them. I love you. Bye.